certain compartmentalized information. There's, there, there was nothing combining me to only certain compartmentalized information. To the moon and see a bunch of rocks. But right now that they seem beyond the believability uh, that all they did was make a trip to the moon and see a bunch of rocks. But right now that they seem... truth is, is you're not going to be a naval intelligence officer unless you are a Freemason. Or a member of the ancient order of the Rose of Cross, but you have to be high degrees uh, for that. I think the reason I was selected as a enlisted man is because I had belonged to the Demolay Society. Which is why? As a teenager. That's sort of the first level of Freemasonry. That's how they recruit teenagers uh, and indoctrinate them into their principles so that they go right into Freemasonry when they become an adult. Um, I was really uh, uh, an indoctrinated individual, naval security and intelligence, and I was given a secondary NEC, which is Naval Enlisted Code, which was 9545, which is Internal Security Specialist. And um, uh, an Internal Security Specialist is someone who um, uh, protects classified information, and protects uh, um, areas, so to speak protects the uh, classified information. Yes. You should get a tape of the closing ceremony. It was I heard did. at night I in, have the, it. in the UFO. A spacecraft held yes. by a helicopter. It, well, it wasn't held by a helicopter. There was no helicopter up there holding this thing. They'll tell you that, but it's not true. Can you imagine the liability that they would have if they were carrying this thing suspended on a cable underneath a helicopter over the heads of, of hundreds of thousands of people? They wouldn't You're do it. You're meaning to say that that thing used in the 1984 Olympics, the closing ceremony... Was under its own power. Was under its own power? Yes. Yeah. Something's going to happen here now. Here comes the thing. Now, most of the crowd just beginning to see it now. Oh, it's several hundred feet high still. Trumpets and the lights signaling to the spaceship, the spaceship giving its return signal. An internal security specialist is someone who um, uh, protects classified information. A similar program in the Soviet Union served the same purpose. In fact, a joint alien United States and Soviet Union base already existed on the moon at the very moment Kennedy spoke the words. On May 22, 1962, a space probe landed on Mars and confirmed the existence of an environment which could support long afterward the construction of a colony on the planet. Mars began in earnest. Today, there is a colony which exists on the planet Mars. It is a United States Russian alien facility. Protects classified information. I have an obligation to inform the public, and once that's done, I've done my job. If you believe it's outrageous, stick around a few years. There are areas on the moon where plant life grows and even changes color with the seasons. And this seasonal effect is because the moon does not, as claimed, always present the exact same side to the earth or the sun. There is an area that wobbles in and out of darkness on a seasonal basis, and it is near this area that the plant life grows. The moon does have a few man-made lakes and ponds upon its surface, and clouds have been observed and filmed in its atmosphere. How many of you remember the period of time, several years, 
when almost every reported alien craft that was reported landed was on or near water and appeared to be pumping water into the craft. How many of you remember that? Quite a few. The water went to the moon, ladies and gentlemen, to change the moon. There's no reason why you or anyone else cannot walk on the surface of the moon or in space in a vacuum without a spacesuit. Pyramids on the moon, pyramids Tanks on Mars, and, towers and, a, and a Christian a cross, cross terracing on Mars, the you're facing to Mars. see, uh, oh, 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 oh. you're going to see a World War II bomber lying beside a you crater say, Bill, on the moon. That, uh, almost every one of the astronauts who went to the moon has seen uh, something. Mining machines, oh, you're going to see something, uh, a machine in a crater throwing dirt out of the crater over the rim. You're going to see domes. It's because they fully intend to kill a minimum of two billion people by the year 2000. See, I meet every day people who say it was preordained from the beginning. There's nothing you can do. It's all in God's hands. I have to say that I just cannot go along with that. And in the Bible itself, the Bible that these people use to justify their position has several, not one, not two, not three, not four, but several, many instances where God has said, this will happen. And guess what? Because some man did something other than than what other men did, it didn't happen. And what about Job? He stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with God and argued him into submission. <laughs> so, anyway, that's my argument. In remarks, Paul shows no sign. Listen to me carefully. This is absolutely the truth. Paul shows no sign of ever having heard of the gospel story of the life of Jesus and his crucifixion. Don't believe it? Get out your Bible and read every single thing that Paul ever wrote. All of it. Now this is incredible. But it's true, Paul shows no sign whatsoever of ever having heard of the gospel story of the life of Jesus and his crucifixion. And I don't care which religion you show me, I have yet to find one that does not teach man to do good things. Now, notice, Lucifer was called the son of the morning star. He was also called the morning star. And there is a great mystery here. Because Christ also called himself the morning star. But I have been told by those who have been initiated in the mystery schools that Christ and Lucifer are one and the same being. And I can prove all throughout the Bible, that there have been mistranslations in every English version that I have ever laid my hands upon.
anybody that comes up here and tries to encroach upon my rights or take away the protection of the Constitution from me and my family is going to get a bullet. And, uh, and, and that's just the way it is. They've stepped on their dicks this time. No matter what they do, they lose, and they know it. Because if they make a martyr out of William Cooper... Not only that, I'm right within the law. I am right under the Constitution, and I am right within the law, and it's all posted on my website so on the Internet. So you're saying you've dotted all your I's, you've crossed all your T's. Absolutely. You've drawn your line in the do, sand. They lose. They either back down and get within the bounds of the Constitution, they lose.